this video is going to be a comprehensive review on the Fujifilm X20. Just so you know, I'm shooting this video on this camera so I can't really show you it just now. But here's a few short clips showing you where I am right now. It's gorgeous. I think that's enough of that though, so no more color grading. I've been using cameras for the past two or three years properly and I've been with the Fujifilm system for the last year and a half. This camera though, I've only had for one week. And that whole time though, I've been on holidays, so I've used it extensively, testing all its capabilities and functions. So to start, I feel like the lens is both a pro and a con. Okay, so why is it a pro? Well, it's an f2 at the widest aperture and with that it works amazing well in low light conditions. It's fast, it's wide and it's really small, like it's so compact when you close it down. But why is it a con? Well, in my experience, and I've been using it in all the modes including manual focus, it's not the sharpest at f2. It only gets super sharp and maybe f3.5 thereabouts, which is not bad at all, but I can't have one to be sharp at f2. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the battery. Now, being on holiday, I use this camera so much, and I've taken approximately 200 to 300 photos per day. And with that, I've also taken a lot of videos, normally around 5 to 10 gigs. In that whole time, the most battery life that I've gone through was one battery and a half, which is superb. On the Fujifilm website, it's rated at 270 photos, I think, which is not bad at all for like how small it is. And yeah, the battery life is rather good. And now to talk about the picture quality, I guess. Well, just like any other Fujifilm camera, this one has film simulations. These have adapt filters within the camera, but these are phenomenal. They remind me of the old Fujifilm so much. However, this being made in 2012, it does have classic chrome, which is my favorite. That's a bit of a disappointment. However, having said that, I'm loving Pro Neg H. As you know yourself, this camera is really small and it actually shoots raw. This is insane because it reminds me so much of Leica's or the X100 series from Fujifilm. This raw is not the best I've used in my past, but the dynamic range is there. It's super handy to edit even in Lightroom and it's pretty good. I would rate maybe 6 out of 10. The next portion of this review is going to talk about the autofocus. This camera has great autofocus. In video it's super good and in photos as well. It only struggles in low light but if you half press the shutter button a few times you'll get the focus on point. So there's nothing to worry about with that. And now to talk about the options of this camera. One reason why I like Fujifilm is because there are so much buttons on the actual physical camera. So getting into it there's like different focus modes. There's three focus options, manual, autofocus single, and autofocus continuous. I prefer the continuous, personally. Then there is the whole exposure wheel, which goes from minus two to plus two, which is not that best, but it's fine. I don't mind it. And then there is, there is one programmable option button. I use that for my ISO. And there's a lot of dials. The main one is the wheel on top, and this goes through all your picture modes. So you have SR plus, auto mode, sure priority, aperture priority, manual and you have two custom modes. I kind of love these. One of them I use for raw and the other is just kind of like a street photography fast uh, sure speed mode. So getting into the video side of things. And this is quite funny because um, right as I was about to get into this section my recording kind of stopped. Okay so this is the biggest downside of it. It doesn't have a dedicated video button. So you need to scroll the dial on top into video mode and press the show button. However, if you have pressed it, once video is rolling, the video cuts off. And I don't like that one bit, but I'm getting used to it. Now to move on to the good sides of the video. Autofocus, phenomenal, super fast, clear, and the, the picture C sharp. Low light performance is good at F2. However, the autofocus kind of struggles, but that's to expect. Then sound quality. The camera has two microphones, creating a stereo sound, and they're on front. I had the little sponge thing to clear a lot of wind noise, but I think the mic is super good. And lastly, the optical image stabilization. It's the newest version, which is the dual one. 
and this works really well in when you're walking etc like right now I'm walking holding the camera with one hand and I think it's pretty good I feel like I also need to add that you can attach a microphone to this camera which which is unlike any of my other cameras and a huge plus as I'm making this review there is one part that I've avoided till this point and that's the physical form factor of this camera the camera just like any other Fujifilm camera is a complete metal build super sturdy and very strong even if you drop it it is very portable the lens collapsing practically completely the optical viewfinder is super useful and as I said it's very practical the same battery life and overall the camera is very unnoticeable so even if it's on your neck the whole day doing street photography it probably will not attract any attention such as the big DSLRs do now for the very last point in this whole review, the image quality. This camera is not professional, and it's not even intended for that. It's meant to be a small portable point and shoot. When it was new, it cost around 500 euro, and I personally got it for 160 with three batteries and a few cases, which is a bargain in my opinion. And the camera is just super sturdy, portable, lightweight, and it's perfect if you're trying to advance photography and replace a standard point and shoot or your smartphone camera. So to sum everything up, this camera gets a probably a three and a half out of five for the quality of images, for the build quality and how much I love using it. It's just the perfect portable camera for your day-to-day -day life.